who's the first one to be ridden along of the pair and has been brought to the outside of Honeysuckle, who has raced on now at the second last and jumped it well and clear from Moscovite and then Fizz and Stick, with behind these my Peggy and Vinter Garcia, but Honeysuckle has stretched out the field with one to jump. Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore come onto the final flight safely over six to seven lengths clear from Moscovite, and then comes Fizz and Stick and Vinter Garcia and up towards the line. Honeysuckle will make a winning debut under rules for Rachel Blackmore and Henry de Bromed. Followed by Rovetta, then Sassy Diva, beautiful city down the center of the track, and then Strange Notions racing down towards the final flight. And it is Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore out there in front of Sassy Diva, beautiful city, and then Strange Notions dropping away quickly as Rovetta. But it's Honeysuckle out in front coming to the final flight and the boarding bell. Honeysuckle over from Sassy Diva running on into second place, and then beautiful city. But it's Honeysuckle justifying her marker position to maintain her. Our unbeaten record has made Rachel all in the morning. Blackmore, Western Victory second, and Tintango. Kingston Girl is next with Robin the Carla, but at the final flight, Honeysuckle over was rather ponderous, but is a good six lengths clear from Western Victory, then Tintangle and Robin the Carla, and up towards the finish, Honeysuckle keeps on winning for Rachel Blackmore and Henry de Bromed, and will further enhance her profile in the great three, Solarina Mares Novice. And Mark Walsh on the run down towards the final flight in the Irish Stallion Farms EBF Mayor's Novice Hurdle Championship final. And Honeysuckle is opening up clear at the final flight. Honeysuckle, Rachel Blackmore over six in front of Tintangle. El File is next as they race up towards the finish. And this is a good mare, all right, as Honeysuckle gives Rachel Blackmore the elusive. Irish grade one and extends winning ways. Honeysuckle jumped it big, a couple of lengths in front of Easy Game. They've gone clear from Mr. Blue Sky between the final two flights and the www.fairyhouse.ie hurdle. And it's the odds on favourite, Honeysuckle, coming away from Easy Game. And at the final flight, Honeysuckle over from Easy Game, well clear from Mr. Blue Sky. And into the closing stages, Honeysuckle will extend her winning sequence in her comeback race of the season and has won going away. Bacardi's in fourth place is Penn Hill as they're in line for the final two flights and Honeysuckle has gone to the front from Bacardi's on the outside of Apples Jade who's dropped off them coming down towards the second last. It's Honeysuckle the leader from Bacardi's in the middle of the track as they race between the final two and the Hatton's Grace and Honeysuckle is lengthening away from the field. In second place it's Bacardi's Apples Jade back in third at the final flight, Honeysuckle over, flicks her way through it, inside the final 150 yards, this is a special mare, and it's a Hatton's full of grace, as Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore are impressive winners, mind you, and here she comes on the near side, racing down to the final flight, Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore hit the front, from Penny Mouchoir, Darver Star, Georgia, Super Sunday, but it's Honeysuckle, the leader at the final flight, over. Penny Mouchoir is renewing his effort on the near side. Inside the final 100 yards, Darver Star, the underdog, is finishing strongly as well. Going towards the line, Honeysuckle, racing's new first lady, has won the PCI Irish champion from Darver Star. Penny the now. Stormy Island then, heading down towards the second last. Nobody's yet to take her on. El Fahl has moved through to second place, Honeysuckle in third. Benny Dojo behind those, then Lady Buttons and Roxana at the second last. Stormy Island, she still holds the lead. Now on the left, Benny Dojo and the pink jacket produced with a challenge uh, from El Fahl. Honeysuckle just in behind those. Roxana is still running on as well. They move into the home straight. And Honeysuckle now nips through with Rachel Blackmore against the inside running rail. Benny Dojo on the left. These two good mares. It's going to be between them as they race down to the last. Honeysuckle has the advantage though, she leads she's two lengths ahead, Benny De Dure in second, Honeysuckle a massive leap at the last, but a great leap from Benny De Dure as well, Honeysuckle is in front, the far side, nearest to us is Benny De Dure, who is inching closer, running towards the line Honeysuckle is in front, she's trying to fend off the challenge, and she's done it Honeysuckle remains unbeaten 
Spinning her business, coming down to the second last from Bacon Edge, who's drawing down a big run on the outside for Sean Flanagan. And then comes Ronald Pump and Bacardi's racing for the final flight. And it's Honey Suckle lengthening a couple of lengths clear of Bacon Edge. Ronald Pump and Bacardi's at the final flight. Honey Suckle, Bacon Edge hasn't gone away on the outside, but it's Honey Suckle as they run up to the finish. History is repeating itself in the Hatton's Grace from Ronald Pump and Bacon Edge in between horses back coming down to the final flight is six lengths up on Abaca Dabrin then Charge and Sanwa at the final flight and it's Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore steady into it safely over by six to seven lengths from Abaca Dabrin third is Charger and then comes Sanwa but up towards the finish it's Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore two stars aligned retain the Chanel Farmer and his champion hurdle second is Abaca and Charger also moving through into fifth position so Soldier heads the remainder, but now Honeysuckle moves into the home straight with a two length lead to Aspire Tower in second. Charger has moved into third. Epitant is behind those in fourth, but Honeysuckle is galloping clear as she races towards the last. A lovely leap. She cleared it safely and heads up the hill now. Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore clear from Charger. Epitant behind those. It's a beautiful straight 11 victories for Honeysuckle. She is the winner of the Unibet champion hurdle. Charger in second. But rounding the home turn with one flight left to jump. And away come Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore. Charger's gone second. And then Jason the Militant Goshen, Epitant and Abacadabra. They've all work to do. Coming down to the final flight and it's Honeysuckle. Four clear of Charger and turn clear of Epitant and Goshen. Coming to the final flight in the Penny Power Champion Hurdle. And it's Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore into it. Steadies with Charger having a chance on the outside. Outside. Inside the last half furlong, it's Honeysuckle holding Charger as they run towards the finish. Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore are giving us plenty more to smile about. Round the home turn with two flights to jump, and it's Honeysuckle who's picked that up. It's Honeysuckle coming down towards the second last with a growing advantage over Ronald Pump, and then Sal Deer and Abercadabra staying on, but it's only for place money. Honeysuckle with a commanding lead. Coming to the final flight in the bar one racing.com Hatton's Grace Hurdle. It's Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore on the unbeaten champion hurdlers safely over. They took their time. Ronald Pump is in second and then Abacadabra. Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore. They're a remarkable combination. Season in, season out. Three Hatton's Grace Hurdles. By Echoes and second. Rain and Sanwa. But Senna Bauer business is Honeysuckle and is readily over. Opened up a clear advantage, racing into the straight to the final flight. It's Honeysuckle in familiar territory here at Leopardstown. Is coming right away from Zanny here. Echoes and rain, heaven help us, and San Juan coming to the final flight. It's Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore with a six to seven length advantage. Chased safely over from Zanny here in Echoes and rain. And inside the final furlong, it's Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore continuing to carry all before them in their long association as two becomes three in the Chanel Farmer's champion herd. ...in on the second last, less than half a mile to go, and Honeysuckle is moving through to dispute it with Appreciated and Zana here. Three in a line as they make the final turn. Epitant in fourth, chasing being asked, and now Blackmore shakes up the mare, and Honeysuckle strides on. She bounds two lengths clear, chased by Appreciated the green sleeves, then Zana here. Epitant is running on under pressure, it's Honeysuckle down towards the last, pursued by Epitant, two former winners. Honeysuckle defending a crown, lands a couple clear. Epitant untidy. Zana here in third, so while staying on fourth, but it's Honeysuckle in full bloom again. She stays on powerfully. Back-to-back -back wins in the Unibet champion hurdle. Honeysuckle again. Epitant chased her in vain. Zana here was third. And then Sawa, glory and fortune, not so sleepy. Honeysuckle strikes for home. Sun was second. Echoes and Rain still runs on on the outside. Then Adagio, Durasso and Tiopo. But out in front of the field is Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore. Echoes and Rain has moved off after the mare. The final flight. Honeysuckle over from Echoes and Rain and Sun. 150 yards left to go. It's Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore. Racing's golden duo. Make it a staggering sweet 16 at the Paddy Power Championship.
Ryder. Hamilton Reigns.